Hey, what's up guys? Chase with IDUB Hockey, hanging out with Brian Molnar, Director of Engineering for True Hockey here in Santa Barbara, California with your new line of A-Sticks in front of us, our A-Series. Um, but I wanna talk about swing weight today. So uh, for someone you know, who's never really looked into it, you know, what is the definition of swing weight and then how does that apply to the player? Okay, well if anybody plays golf and has is, is ever built a set of golf clubs, they're real familiar with the term swing weight. Mm -hmm. um, overall weight in, in golf is something you don't really hear about. You, I have no idea how much any of my golf clubs weigh, but I know exactly what the swing weight is. So that's really a feel of the head heaviness or in the hockey's case, the blade heaviness when you swing a stick. Um, everyone always talks about overall weight of a hockey stick, mm -hmm. but overall weight doesn't really tell the whole story. It is possible for a 400 gram stick to feel heavier than a 410 or 415 gram stick, depending on how well balanced it is and, and where that weight is in the stick. So for example, if you were to want to feel the overall weight of a hockey stick, you really have to hold that stick right at its balance point. And if you hold it right at its balance point, You'll notice that if you hold it here, it feels lighter than if you hold it in more of a playing position like here. That bottom hand, you feel more weight in this position than you do if you're just holding it with one hand like this. Right. So there's a reason for that. The uh, reason is for, for a stick to be, for, to hold a stick and have it not move, basically all the forces have to balance out to zero. Um, so if you're holding it right at, its, right at its balance point, there's a downward force, which is the overall weight of the stick. Mm -hmm. Um, counteracted by an upward force of your hand, which is the exact same force. So if this is a 410 gram stick, I've got 410 grams of force going upward to, to hold it steady. When I hold the stick in more of a playing position, something different happens. You'll notice if I let go with my top hand, the stick rotates. So because my balance point is now lower than the bottom hand of where I'm holding the stick, I've introduced a rotational force. So to counteract that rotational force, I have to put a second downward force at the top of the stick. Okay. So this second downward force added with the overall weight of the stick is the swing weight. It's actually a higher number than the overall weight of the stick. So this stick is about 410, 415 grams. Mm -hmm. The swing weight is about 620 grams. Because you have that extra set of forces pushing it yeah. upward, I suppose. Exactly. Right? So, I've got a downward force of the weight of the stick. I've got a downward force on my top hand to counteract that rotational force. Um, so I'm actually feeling in my bottom hand, my brain's registering about 620 grams. In your bottom hand. Yeah. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of having higher or lower swing weights? Well, a lower swing weight, you're gonna be able to swing the stick quicker. There's, there's less force required to get that stick going, get it in motion. Um, and because of that, because this is what your brain is, is feeling, you, like I said, you can actually have, if you have a better balanced stick, you can actually have a heavier stick that feels lighter. So why is that important to us as, as engineers? If I can make a heavier stick, mm -hmm. I can make it more durable because I can put more material in the shaft now. Shaft breaks more than blades, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. um, the blade is what's impacting the ice and the puck, but typically if you look at failures, you're gonna see the shaft break more often than not. So um, utilizing technologies like the Azenic technology we have uh, for manufacturing, compression molded shaft, compression molded blade with the VRT technology, we're able to get this part of the stick very light. Mm -hmm. We can put a little bit more material in the shaft and still maintain that, that very low swing weight. And that's, uh, 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 that lower swing weight with the heavier stick is probably great for defensive players, whether you're a centerman or a defenseman, yes. because you still have that nice lightweight feel in the hands, but you have more mass to go ahead and be a more aggressive defender with, correct? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And then so this year in your new uh, A6.0, and we see it throughout the entire line, we see a big change in the blade. Um, how has that improved the, uh, the swing weight this year? Well, we reconfigured the heel section and we moved our braided rib all the way up into the heel. So we mm -hmm. not only got better durability in the heel section of the blade, but we saved some weight in this transition area. Uh, we call this the throat of the stick. Mm -hmm. um, so we took that weight, we put it into the shaft, got a more durable overall shaft as well as the heel of the blade. But another thing to, another very important thing to remember about swing weight is length is a huge factor in swing weight. If you have a shorter stick, you're gonna drop your swing weight significantly. Mm -hmm. So you might notice that years ago, some of the manufacturers started making sticks an inch shorter than the customary 60 inch. Right. Um, 
there's a reason for that. When you cut an inch off of the stick, that drops your swing weight by 20 grams. Wow. So without doing anything, I can cut an inch off of this stick, and if I hold it in the top of my, and if I hold my hand at the top of the stick, mm -hmm. it'll feel in my head 20 grams lighter. It's a little bit of a mind game. That's why you saw sticks get a little bit shorter. Right. We've opted not to do that. We've opted to tell everybody the story, give them the explanation, and we kept our sticks at 60 inches. Gotcha. And then that's something that swing weight, no matter what size the stick, I mean, I, I'm more so speaking to the intermediate and junior players, but this uh, technology of optimizing your swing weight, that's something that we find throughout all price points and as well as all sizes of sticks, correct? Exactly. And I, and I think as we go farther and as we get more down the road and we continue to develop sticks, we're going to find that some players prefer a certain swing weight, not necessarily a, a certain overall weight. Because that gives you your game time in the game feel rather right. than a, just a general weight for the stick, right? Exactly, exactly. Well, Brian, thanks for filling us in and really walking us through what swing weight is. And then if you want to check out more True Hockey products, make sure you go to inlineandicewarehouse.com.